Hi Libra! Welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the week of the 19th through around the 25th of October of 2020. What are they thinking reading? I'm going to start out with The La Vampire's Deck by Lucy Cavendish and I'm going to lay a Celtic spread. So dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless whichever Libra I'm reading for during this general reading. Sun, Moon, Arising, Male or Female, Venus, Saturn, Pluto, Jupiter, and so on. With clearly defined messages regarding the person, place, circumstance, or situation that they are dealing with. Okay, a little longer. Please provide this Libra with clearly defined messages regarding another. What are this person's thoughts, feelings, emotions, viewpoints, outlooks, and perspectives when it comes to this Libra during the week of October 19th of 2020? Okay, here we go. I think we're going to do a Celtic spread if I didn't say that already. In the center of the spread, we have a call for help. So Libra, the person you're thinking of, or whom you are connected with, uh, they want to reach out. And in the thoughts position, we have courteousness. So there's some spiritual advice here telling this Libra that it is important to reach out and help another or others in a thoughtful and polite way, right? I'm going to use my manners. I'm going to remain courteous. And in the foundation, we have discipline. <laughs> so for some Libras, this person is trying to discipline themselves and reach out. I think they want to get back into courteous and kind energies, thoughtful energies, or this person's thinking a lot of you. I'm getting a family member here. Now, in the recent past, we had seduction. So for some Libras, the first half of October of 2020 <clears throat> was about allure, seduction, and also energies of manipulation. How can I reach out? How can I help another? I want to admit my needs and discipline myself. This person is saying to themselves, Libra, that they don't want just seduction by midweek of the week of October 19th of 2020 we have rebellion tumultuous energies so the person you're thinking of they are trying to re remain disciplined because they are going through a realization of how their rebellious energy got them to where they are today. So in the actions position, this person realizes with the death will come energy that there was a blessed connection with number 30 here. But that now it's time to plan a better direction, to take what you've learned, this person, through you, Libra. And to rise above. Somebody wants the same path they had. But they need to communicate their truth. They're, held, they're holding back this week. Or at least at the beginning of the week. Now, in the inner strength position of the Celtic spread, we have the ancient energies of ancestors, family, and also some form of magical inheritance here. I rebelled, something ended when it comes to the Libra, therefore, how will I rise above financially, emotionally? I know I need to use good manners to discipline myself from my rebellious energy. Now, in the hopes and fears position, Libra, this person is being guided with the primal energies to reconnect with their inner selves, 
to do what they are instinctly guided to do that is good. For in their outcome position by the weekend of the 23rd through the 25th of October of 2020, they are fearing that someone sees them. This person's fearing. It's like they're, somebody's, they feel like people are seeing them and they're trying to remain well-mannered. This is interesting. So in a three-card summary to my left, we've got the first position being represented by ecstasy and thirst. Don't have to say too much about that. Except that someone has high hopes of a future and they are obsessing a bit. They need to admit their needs. So some of us could reach out to this person, some Libras, and find reason. For some, somebody just feels like an outsider this week. Now, by midweek, say the 21st to around the 22nd or 3rd, Libra, this person is indeed dealing with an inner struggle with the number 25, wanting a new path with you, a new direction. And the number 5 is Spirit's way of telling this person to really think before taking action. They are conflicted because they are wanting to walk in energies of high standards. But they're looking at, at something that ended. Now, this is happening during the Mercury retrograde from the 14th, today as I'm filming, of October into November 3rd. Someone had to say goodbye in the past. But now they're realizing that they are honoring the lives of something that died. And now there's a desire for recovery, for resurrection, for a comeback. Yeah, this person wants redemption, forgiveness. Because now they're realizing that real love, what real love is, it endures. It lasts. So they're getting more in touch with their authentic self. And they're realizing that I'm going to have to let go of with the creator energies. The creation of the world I once manifested. Father, mother, family, whatever this is. I need to let go and sacrifice. My inability to reach out and express my needs to you, Libra. The Spirit is getting, giving them the ability to have confidence in themselves. That they can free their energy from bitterness, grudges, or even an inability to let go. Hmm. So I'm going to clarify regarding these energies, Libra, and the person that you are thinking of, should this be your reading. For others of you, uh, if you'd like to know another person's thoughts, feelings, emotions, viewpoints, outlooks, and perspectives when it comes to you, uh, feel free to write me at my email for a personal reading. My email address is josiek42 at gmail.com. I'm offering a one-month, three-month, six-month, and yearly reading, and my price list will be in the box below this video. I am still offering the Now Fall Special, which is a 15-minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give it a try. Clarify these messages, please, dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels. All right, yeah. Someone here at the beginning of the week, Libra, they are conflicted when it comes to you. Someone sticking out their tongue at this manipulation Tied to the past. They are conflicted when it comes to you with the Five of Swords energies. Now in their thoughts. During the week of the 19th of October of 2020. They're trying to get to the truth of a situation. But they are being guided to do it in a kind way. Number 38 is like Spirit saying with the Holy Trinity number 3. And then with the number 8 
of the infinity symbol. What have you learned? What is your truth? How can you create victory in your path? Well, you can obtain the truth, Spirit, saying to this person, if you admit your needs. So in the foundation, this person is like very disciplined. Uh, they're consistent. Day to day, they're doing their thing. But with the Four of Swords energies, they're wondering, should I give this Libra another chance? I put so much time and effort in. What is the truth? In the past, there was manipulation. A lesson with the infinity symbol number eight. And there was the Four of Pentacles holding on to finances really tightly. And now someone, this Libra, is walking away from this person with the Five of Swords energies. And they realize that they're realizing a part of themselves. And this is happening for a lot of people with two full moons in October. So by mid to the end of the week, even through the weekend... 21st to the 24th. This person is wanting to come back together and to work on something with another or others in the area of money or things of the material. They could either cause rebellious energy in another journey, direction with you, or they can realize. I'm trying to say this very kindly. This person, Libra, is fearful that an ending is happening with the death will come energy. And they're trying to research a situation regarding money. Working hard, day to day, consistently practicing. How can I come together with someone and create some form of inheritance? Something involving family? In our ancestors. We have the moon with the inheritance energy. Having the strength to stand back and watch this maybe Pisces energy. Who offers to Libra. Or someone in Libra's world. Some form of inheritance. A win. A new financial path. Of abundance with family. Some of these people here that you're dealing with, a person you're dealing with, they're trying to get the truth about money. Um, I don't know if they're working on that in their own path and in connection with and to you, but of course that should never be the reason for building a foundation for the long term with another. So in the hopes and fears position, we have the temperance angel coming in and saying, Find contentment and balance in the day-to-day. -day. Get back in touch with you and what you like to do. Come up with a hobby, gift, talent, skill. Something that will ground you in this moment of pause and reflection. Discipline yourself in some form of practice. So if you're coming up with a hobby, gift, talent, or skill, like my daughter. My daughter's a Libra. She is researching how to create those scarves that are made out of those, like those blankets with that heavy yarn and create a, a profit. She's waiting on clarity and spirit is helping her to find balance as she gets in touch with her instincts about her future, about how to move forward. Now Libra, in the outcome position by the weekend of the 23rd through the 25th of October of 2020, we have the prey energy. People may be watching you because of your success, is what I just heard. <laughs> and they're kind of like, I had hope for that situation, and now I don't. For I'm watching this true, this this truth, this victory happen, and I'm trying to remain well-mannered. I'm waiting, even though I'm conflicted about communication. I was closed off with money in the past, but now I'm working and I'm working and I'm working and I'm hoping to come together and push beyond my rebellious self. 
so that I can find balance and clarity in the area of money and family. So someone around you is feeling very burdened. They're laying down a path with the Ten of Wands in the area of home, family, or business. They're hop, skipping, and jumping into the direction of a fool energy, an exciting new creative path with the Seven of Cups. Waiting very patiently regarding money and an offer from someone who may have water in their chart, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or someone whose heart is open. Someone who wants to come together and create a happily ever after and a celebration in the area of home, family, or business. So this person is thinking about a passionate connection with Libra and they are contemplating, is my ship going to come in? Will I be able then with the chariot energies to travel into the path of success? I'm thinking about my past and what I want and a wish could come true where I can come together with a soulmate and receive the light at the end of the tunnel when it comes to material stability. You could receive, this person, Spirit's telling this person, Libra, that you're thinking of, that they could receive a lot of attention and recognition, and the Wheel of Fortune could turn in their favor if they will just communicate kindly and playfully, and to continue this practice of playful banter. Okay. We have some Libras who may be dealing with another Libra. We've got the King of Swords energies. Maybe they're realizing that you are the King of Swords. You're not going to put up with any baloney. And yeah, this is your energy I'm feeling, Libra. You're coming to a point where there is, there's like nowhere to go. It's like you're looking at something in, in the face of what it is. Thinking about marriage. Thinking about the money you had to give to another person. Sorry, these energies shift around on me. Ah, they're listening to their intuition with the Queen of Cups energies. Or this is you being guided to because the Ace of Pentacles doorway is opening up. Beautiful, right around the magical inheritance. Maybe around the November 4th. A path opens up, a win, an inheritance, something that will grow and prosper for you, Libra. And then they are heartache. They have heartache with your sword energy. They're feeling stuck or trapped because of things outside of themselves. Therefore, uh, they're hoping because of this realization of, I think, Libra's money situation that is awesome. They're waiting for money to eventually come their way. They're feeling a little bit alone, a little bit forgotten. Yeah, and they're hoping to bring a current path to an end, that there will be communication that will allow them to lay down a passionate journey and or a situation involving home or business. But I, they may be coming towards you, Libra, with greed which is what this card means in this deck. Manifesting a better perspective. Imbalanced when it comes to activities and money and trying to figure out how to find their way out of a current path into something better. Hmm. So, should these messages resonate for you, and you would like to know where this other stands, it, it appears to me that this other person, Libra, by the end of November, around the 31st of the full moon, in Taurus, somebody's going to be looking at your truth, your success, your victory, and maybe at the fact that you are moving on financially, emotionally, because you're working hard doing something here with money or things of the material. They see your success and eventually they throw away the offer because someone here, could be you Libra, have decided to cut away from anyone or anything who is not courteous, kind, and supportive to you and for you. So I'm closing with a spiritual message from the Guardian Angel deck by Doreen Virtue for whichever Libra I just read for and the other person. The overall message is the Three of Pentacles, right? So we saw this here. 
working together with others to create change in the area of money or things of the material, a home, a business. Someone rebelled. Maybe both of you rebelled. And now you're contemplating a courteous and kind and balanced future. But I think, Libra, someone's going to come to you and you're going to say, I'm all good. And then they throw away the desire of coming back into connection with you. Some here, now remember, this is where the, we're at the precipice of the infinity symbol, where it is now time to begin and end. Begin the ending of what was so we can get closer to where we are headed next, so we can find peace, joy, and happiness in our own journey once again. Your passions will lead you to your divine life purpose. So this is for you, Libra. Do what you love this month. And have confidence in your talent. I'm so glad to hear this from my daughter who is starting to make a bunch of sales. Her friends are starting their own small businesses. Learn everything there is about your interests by taking classes, getting a mentor, or by teaming up with like-minded people. Allow your creativity to soar. Don't let someone hold you back from a new beginning, from great success from balance and contentment in your future. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you to those of you whom have liked, shared, and subscribed. Thank you to those of you whom have donated to keep the channel up and running. Thank you to those of you who attend my Wednesday at noon live Zoom cast and my Thursday at noon uh, U.S. Central Time live video podcast chat on YouTube. Thank you so much for those of you who have commented as to how these energies are helping you to make decisions and to raise yourself into the path of peace, joy, and contentment. Thank you very much. Take care. God bless.